Two of the Western Conference semifinal series featuring the Golden State Warriors and San Antonio Spurs. This is Jeff Grant with SBRForum.com. Wednesday night NBA action from the AT&T Center. Opening tip scheduled for 9.30 Eastern time on TNT. The Spurs are currently anywhere between 7 and 7.5 seven and point home favorites after opening up at a number of 8. While the total sits at 205 in the betting market, go to SBRodds.com to monitor any future odds movement. Of course, the Warriors coming off a disheartening 129-127 double overtime loss on Monday night as 9.5 point road underdogs going over the total of 202.5. Blew a 16 point lead with 4 minutes remaining in that one. Point guard Stephon Curry did all he could, 44 points and playing just under 58 minutes of basketball, 18 of 35 from the floor, including 6 of 14 from beyond the arc. Klay Thompson was really the story for me in terms of the Warriors not pulling off the victory. Fouling out late in the fourth quarter, he was having a tremendous game, and he's having tremendous playoffs. One of the better mid-range jump shooters in the postseason, basically right behind Carmelo Anthony in that range from 15 to 18 feet. He's averaging 15.3 points per game in the NBA playoffs. 10-1 and one ATS following a straight up loss. So a lot of people are going to look to play the Golden State Warriors in a bounce back and a zigzag uh, opportunity here for many in the betting market. A weak layoff definitely showed for the Spurs after eliminating the Los Angeles Lakers in four games in the quarterfinal round. Started game one of this series one of nine from the floor and they were battling back from a deficit the entire game. Takes a lot out of the team, but luckily they had seven days off before the series began. Tim Duncan finished with 19 points and 11 rebounds. He played just 34 minutes, was battling flu-like symptoms, says he felt much better on Tuesday, but he wasn't really on the floor during the two overtime periods just at the end. I think the Game 2 adjustments are going to be critical in determining the outcome in this one. I think the San Antonio Spurs get it done with Greg Popovich, the longtime coach in San Antonio, going against... Mark Jackson in his first playoff series as a coach. Of course, Jackson has plenty of playoff, playoff experience as a player, but much different, uh, much different when you're not on the floor playing yourself. The under, I think, is an attractive play as well. 12-7-1 in the Spurs' last 20 games when allowing 105 or more points. But I think the Game 2 adjustments and the fact that the Spurs are going to be much better defensively in attacking Curry. I think there's the advantage of playing San Antonio in the first half. Currently the line is four in the market. That's going to be my pick on this game. San Antonio minus four in the first half against Golden State. But that number could drop down to as low as three and a half as action continues to pour in on the road underdog. This has been Jeff Grant with SBRForum.com. And follow me on Twitter at Jeff Grant Sports.